Good morning, Good Shepherd. We are glad that you are here. I uh, just wanted to take a, a few minutes to let you know about a few things that we have going on this fall because certainly this fall is a little bit different than previous falls that we have experienced. Uh, first thing to let you know about is men's Bible study. Men's Bible study is ongoing. It's on Sunday mornings at 8.30 a.m. And uh, that is both in person in our fellowship hall and in also taking place on Zoom online. A women's Bible study took a hiatus during the summer, but will be going back on September 14th on Monday evenings at 7 p.m. And we have a new study that you can download the study guide, and that will take place in our conference room. And also you can join in on Zoom as well. A Wednesday prayer is ongoing. Uh, I shared at the beginning of this pandemic that we would gather for prayer every Wednesday evening to gather for uh, to pray for the needs of our church community to pray for the needs of Old Bridge and uh, surrounding communities to pray for the needs of our nation and our world prayer is so very important and in our scripture reading today we are reminded that God's house will be a house of prayer prayer. So we want to do more than just give lip service to prayer, but actually to engage in that gift that God has given to us. Launch Sunday uh, typically is scheduled for the Sunday following Labor Day, and we always have a church picnic to accompany that, the beginning of the new Sunday school year. Uh, But because of all that is happening this year, that launch Sunday will be canceled. We will not be doing our church picnic. And uh, in terms of Sunday school this fall, we are still working on a plan. We will not be gathering physically for Sunday school during the fall, but we hope to have some sort of virtual opportunity option that will take place at that time. Uh, But September 13th, uh, one thing that we do have on that day is that we will be installing Jeff Campbell as a vicar here at Good Shepherd. Uh, Jeff has entered the SMP program. It is the specific ministry program for our specific ministry pastor program, uh, and he desires to become a pastor in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. And as part of that uh, remote learning process. He will become a vicar here at Good Shepherd, so we will be installing him as vicar on Sunday, September 13th. It's a fancy name. Vicar is a fancy name for an intern, really. And there is also a placement service at Concordia Seminary. It will be an online placement service on Sunday, August 28th, and that will be at 1 p.m. I encourage you to log on. We'll have the details in in the next week or so how you can log on and watch that service. September 20th. Uh, That is going to be Confirmation Sunday and First Communion Sunday. We had to postpone Confirmation and First Communion back in May because we were only doing virtual online services at that time. But we're going to reschedule uh, Confirmation for Sunday, September 20th, and that will take place at 1 p.m. So we'll have our normal service at 10 a.m. in the morning, then we'll have a special confirmation service at 1 p.m. and First Communion will take place at 3 p.m. on Sunday, September 20th. A lot happening this fall, September 27th. uh, We have our rescheduled voters meeting. Our spring voters meeting was to approve the budget, but again was postponed because of the ongoing pandemic. So we've rescheduled that voters meeting for Sunday, September 27th. And because it is in such close proximity to when we would have regularly scheduled our fall voters meeting, we are going to combine at this meeting on September 27th the business of both the spring voters meeting and the fall voters meeting. The spring voters meeting was to approve the budget for the 2020-2021 fiscal year. And the fall voters meeting is to elect members to our admin board. So we'll be approving the budget and we will also be electing members to our admin board. We have three positions that are open. So if you know of someone who would be good to serve on that board or you yourself have an interest to serve on that board, we are now accepting nominations for those positions. And you can submit those nominations to our church office at office at gs4nj.org or you can also call the church office at at 732-679-8883.
So again, a lot that is happening, a lot that is going on. A uh, reminder to sign up for our mailing list. If you are not already signed up for our mailing list, you can do so on our church website, gs4nj.org. Uh, also, while you're there, uh, you can visit our donation page, which is gs4nj.org slash give. We have a number of different online giving options. You can text to 8 Four three two one any dollar amount uh, and give by text. You can also download our giving app, the Church Center app. Uh, there, make online donations and also make your reservations for in-person worship. And by the way, reservations for in-person worship are available now through September thirteenth. Uh, some of you have asked the question of when we might uh, change the schedule, go back to having two services. Uh, but for the time being right now, uh, until the state might inform us otherwise and the, the some of these restrictions might be lifted that we currently have imposed upon us, uh, we will continue to worship in the way that we have worshipped for the foreseeable future. For those of you who are worshiping online at home, whether on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, if you want some of the individual individual communion cups that we use for our in-person worship, make sure to contact our church office and we can schedule a time for you to come by at some point in time during the week to pick up those communion cups. Well, it's been a good, good shepherd to, to speak with you here this morning. Uh, I pray that you are blessed wherever you may be, whether you're in our sanctuary this morning or somewhere out there on the, the internet, and we pray for God's blessing upon our worship this day.